starting it off. Each and every day, I have been looking forward to doing this for several reasons. One, I get an opportunity to put my thoughts out there to see if anybody, they resonate with anybody, if they can help. I'm here to serve, here to be a catalyst for the best version of you. I'm gonna be doing me, you're gonna be doing you, all right? So good news. My mom subscribed to my channel last night. <laughs> Lucky me. I noticed, so, take it for what it's worth. I've, I've gone back and watched several of my these. How egotistical of you, Matt. I'm trying to improve, man. It's game film. You watch yourself, you get better, you get better, you get better. And that's how I improve. So, what I notice is that there's certain things that keep coming up that I want to share. And I had someone reach out to me a couple days ago and I wanted to offer a little practical application that I've been doing, something that just helped me. Maybe you could pick up a piece of it. Maybe there's something that you find that works for you. I'm not saying to do it. I'm just offering what has worked tremendously for me. So, along my journey, I have gone through periods where I'm a bit unhappy with certain parts of my life. So, like what I talked about yesterday, I'll try and emulate somebody who has what I want. Someone who is successful in their career, someone who has done really well in the sports world, that's where I tend to gravitate towards. And that those are the people that I get a couple tips from. And I learn what they focus on, I learn some of their habits, I learn some of their strategies, and I adopt them myself. So time and time again, I have seen these whether you want to call them journals or gratitude journals, whatever you'd like to call them. And what they are to me is writing down specifically all of the blessings in my life, my family, my health, the car that I'm driving, the area that I live in, the people that I see every day, what I've learned throughout my life, all the lessons I've gone through, Sometimes I think back and say, my God, how did I, how am I here? How am I here? Because I've gone through these periods where there's no light. There's no light. I'm in the tunnel and it's so difficult. It was so difficult and you don't see anything outside of that. Now, this is a practical tool that I use and I've gotten better at it and so I won't go into those dark places that will get me out and inspire me and give me some direction as I move forward. So, one, when I start to get that feeling of overwhelmed and what that looks like for me is this, I'll go through my day and someone might say something that sets me off. You ever get out of bed in the morning and maybe you'll go and check your phone and or you'll flip on the news and there's a story on the news tragedy strikes the city of Chicago everyone is devastated and it sets the tone for the day now your entire day at that point is following that the a reaction of that and everywhere you take that. So, what I've learned to do is to be patient, understand when I'm, first off, identify when I'm in that zone. 
and it'll start to look like overwhelm where I'll have three, four, five things on my mind plus and it will go rampant. It will just keep going until I am aware of it and I address it and shut it off. Now, the way that I do that is like this. I'll close my eyes, I'll lay down, and I'll think about the, it's usually one to three things that I am not happy with that I want to do something about, that I want to change. And that could look like focusing my goals at the gym, that could look like what skills I want to develop professionally to get to where I see myself, and so on. So after, that'll take me, depending, if you got a lot of gunk in there, it can take 30 minutes. Just let yourself, you ever go to yoga and they'll have the, the teacher sitting up front and just breathe, just whatever thoughts come through your mind, just let them be and let them pass. It sounds all well and good, and I mean, but that's the key. You don't have to be perfect at it. A thought's gonna come up and it's gonna leave and it's gonna come and it's gonna leave. Just notice, just notice what they are. There's nothing to feel bad about, they're just coming up. You're not the one that's sitting there saying, I wanna think about this, I wanna think about this. Your mind runs a mile a minute. It will always, always, always be going. It's already going to be doing that, that's fine. Now you just let those things process and from there, I'll take a little time afterwards. Honestly, you could do this in five minutes. I get my journal out and I start writing all of the things that I want. Greedy, greedy me. Now, I write all of these things because it's one thing to be, to have these things happen, all right? They happen. You are where you are, maybe you're not happy with your health, maybe you're not happy with the role you have in your job, or maybe you're not happy with the person that you spend the most time with. Okay, it is what it is. The only thing that you have control over is what to do about it. You're not, you can't cry over spilled milk. It is what it is. The only thing that's gonna change that is if you take a different approach, different action. Change your focus a little bit. And what I've done is focus on where I want to go. There's nothing behind me that I can change. There's plenty of things that will come up in my life where I just cringe like, oh, why? Why did I do that? And you have this like, ah, oh. you let that go. There's only something you can do about it now. So I write, I want X. I want to inspire people with my speaking. I want to have a level of fitness. So one thing I wrote today was, I want to master the rings, like the gymnasts in, in the gym. I want to master that body control, and I want to master that breathing. And that's something that lights me up. That's where I want to go. I'm not gonna get on the rings right now and start doing flips and holds and, but I can move towards that. And that is the game. It's not about achieving it immediately. It's the whole journey of getting there. And I'm willing to put in the time. Am I gonna get there in a week? Am I gonna get there in a month, in a year? No, it will be a constant journey. And I love that process. And it's something that just gives me what I'm looking for. I'm looking for control. I'm looking for discipline. I'm looking for commitment. And that's where it all lines up for me. So you can do that with whatever you want. Say it's your job role. Say you're not happy in your career. You have to do these things for you. There's so many people that I went to school for and I feel so, it tears my heart to see them because, well, why are you in school? Chuck, why are you going to school, man? Well, 
you know, my dad went to an Ivy League school. My mom went to an Ivy League school. Both of my brothers and sisters graduated top of their class. So I feel like I've got to fit in into that mold. And they get a lot of pressure from mom or dad to finish that because what do you do? You go to college, you get a good job, you pay your taxes and you die. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't have a vision for that. I'm not the guy that went to school. I dropped out of college and I'm doing my thing and it works for me. It's not for everybody. You gotta do you, you gotta do things for your reasons. I talked to my brother recently, my older brother, and I've had a couple conversations like this where, hey, I want to do this thing. I want to do this thing. But then I've got to go to school for four years to do it. Well, why? Why? When I, and I don't know if my ambitions were just a little different, but I wanted to be around golf. So I just got into golf. I started playing, I started teaching, and all of these opportunities started to show up and it's gotten me to where I am now. So you don't have to wait for somebody to tell you you're certified to, to teach something, to deliver something, to be something. You can be whatever you wanna be. Write that down in your journal. One of the most powerful phrases you can ever use is I am. I am whatever. You can be whatever you want to be. You want to be strong? You can be strong. You want to be influential? Go for it. You want to inspire people? Go for it. There's no rule that says, Sir, uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm hearing what you're saying, I get it, but you're not certified to inspire people. So legally, you know, like I want it, I want to do what you're saying, I want to apply what you're saying, but you know, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. There's so many examples of people that just go and do what they want because they're passionate about it, because they believe in it because they see themselves doing it and there's nothing that can get in their way when it comes to accomplishing that. And that comes from them. When it comes from you, there's, there's nothing else in the way. If you're doing it for other people, it's not a solid foundation. If I do something because I want somebody to acknowledge me, my success is contingent on their reaction to what I do. The control is no longer mine. If I'm basing what I'm doing off of how other people are feeling, it's never gonna work. That's a losing formula, because people have different moods. You can't control the, the way that other people think or feel. You can control how you feel. You can control what you focus on. I mean, that's it, that's it. In a nutshell, in a nutshell, there's no, no sense of crying over the spilled milk. All right, we made a mess, we made a boo-boo. Clean it up, move forward, move on, learn from it. Don't make the same mistake twice. Learn from the people around you. Gosh, I haven't made all my mistakes. I've watched other people make them. I learned something from each and every person I play golf with. 90 plus percent of the time, it's what not to do. And that's a lesson too. You can learn a little bit from everybody. All right, it's short and sweet today, baby. That's all we got. I hope you guys are having a spectacular, outstanding day. I hope to hear from you guys soon. I love you all. Be good.